up here in Forest City, California, exploring around on the new CRF 300L. Check out this uh, stamp mill operation right at the beginning of town. This is a double stamp stamp mill with pretty much all the accessories hooked up to it to make it operate. Let's go take a closer look. Stamp mills, of course, needed to bust up the ore from gold mining, hard rock gold mining operations. This particular mill setup could knock out 8 to 14 tons of ore per day and was operational all the way up until 1949. And one of these, and it might be this one, occasionally they are able to get it going again. Though <laughs> this water tank is a little worse for wear. So the basic premise of how this works, of course, you got to bring the ore in via ore carts into the stamp mill somehow, but you got your water supply here. Water comes down and into a boiler, just very much the same thing as a locomotive boiler. Your firebox is inside of here. And then on the forward portion is the boiler, boiler tubes. And then the um, smoke from the fire exhausts out of there and you extract the steam out of here. The steam is used to power this 10 horsepower motor, single cylinder motor right here. Here's your uh, high tech controls, which makes me think that they have had this operational fairly recently. Probably the clampers have got it going. So that steam moves that 10 horsepower motor, single cylinder engine. And then you get the belt drives, usually big rubber, originally cowhide belt drives. Drives that pulley over there to that pulley over there, which in turn drives the big pulley to the stamp mill. And there's a uh, tensioner pulley right there. You pour your ore in the hopper right up here. And then of course the stamps hop up and down on, where's the cam sh cams? See those two cams up there? Bam, 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 bam. And it picks up and drops, I think they said a thousand pound, are these 500 or a thousand pound hammers? Pulverizing the material. And then you can extract it through the uh, gold extraction process, which often involved quite a bit of mercury. So this was brought up by a mule team from San Francisco. Not sure what year, but it continued to operate according to the plaque until 1949 when the mine was closed. And this was operational at a mine near Allegheny, which they said just suffered from an excessive amount of riches in gold ore. The Allegheny Lode, just around the corner from here, one of the richest gold mining or bearing areas in the entire United States. Forest City, California. Go explore.